Hello there. Welcome back to another Jurassic World Evolution 2 video, guys. We're in Isla Sorna, or Mini Isla Sorna, episode 4 to be precise. Congratulations for making it this far. Don't know why I went for the spooky sort of welcome, but I guess that's the theme today, because, well, we've got a spooky herbivore, because while we've done many of carnivore exhibits already, and I have already had ideas for other ones, I decided let's go for our first herbivore exhibit, and that being a Therizinosaurus walk-in enclosure. And I know what you're thinking. Isn't it a little bit unsafe to have a Therizinosaurus in a walk-in sort of enclosure where, you know, it can just fillet some victims or, that we call guests? Well, I have to agree with you. But then again, has Jurassic World or Jurassic Park ever really been about safety? I guess not. So I'll rest my case. Let's get into our first herbivore exhibit. Hello everybody and welcome back to Mini Nublar. What? And as you can see from the last time we left off, I say that a lot already. But as you can see, or hopefully if you guys uh, saw in the ending of the last video, you probably saw an overview of this. I haven't finished editing that, so hopefully um, when I finish editing that, you guys will see it otherwise, well, here you go. But we're not going to be continuing over here in this section. No! We're going over here, and oh my god, I'm going to get motion sick if I keep doing that. But first we need to get started on our zip lines because I think I mentioned this in the last video, but we're going to be doing two zip lines, and also we're going to need to lower that too. So let's flatten it out. Yeah, yeah, and I was um watching um Evo's um Mini Nublar again, which God, that series was fun to watch and just see how it went. But I was like, are we sure that Sorna is bigger? But then I remembered, no, it's because of all the rivers that this island feels so much smaller. Okay, so I'm gonna leave these here. They're gonna connect over here, but that's for like possibly the next video, guys, unless nobody says anything for an idea. If not, we're probably gonna do the um, hybrids, maybe, or spot. I don't know what we're doing next. Why do I even bother, guys? It. it God damn it. So I'm thinking we can turn it actually, and I know like you could probably do it this way, but since we're gonna do in the walking path, here's my idea. What we'll do is we'll first, we'll need to loop this around. And we'll go right about up to here. So there we go, that's out of the way. And we'll need a, we'll actually need to get a path. What the hell was that? Was that a, what was that? Did you guys hear that? That wasn't... I heard the T-Rex just, just before, but that did not sound... sounded like wolves. Anyway, now that my brain's, like, trying to figure out why I'm hearing the fent um, sounds, um, what we're gonna do is I'm thinking... Hold on, I got a note somewhere of what I'm doing. Oh no, that's too big. I know what I'm doing. So, we need it about there. That'll be better. And then oh, oh there goes that. Okay, well we'll work on that in a moment. What we do need, though, is we need the Jurassic Park gate, the path version, which... I'm surprised we don't have a Jurassic World one of this yet. Like, that's the weirdest thing. Now, let's try and get this straight on. I probably just had it there. There we go. Nice and dead on. And please tell me that we can, we can put paths in, right? Yes. Okay, so we're gonna 
We're gonna go with the classic standard because it's the most dirt textured one and I really wish we got a dirt texture one because that would be so nice. Now we're gonna just um this one we're gonna go wherever we want because it doesn't matter. So we're gonna go here and hold on. We'll need a spot that's like a little bit straight, so right there. We'll pause there. Let's get the um, Jeep back in. We're in the wrong one, I know. And... Do I want it fenced? I'm thinking actually we might... Uh, it's gonna be a little tight, but I'm gonna put it a little bit more at a distance. Because I want to fence this in a little bit. Like, sort of make it like it's a security spot. Which makes sense, because it is an open section. So, we'll go... Let's go just cubicle. And we'll put a path in first, just so I don't forget to do so. And we'll put in the right path, because otherwise this will scream, Hey, that doesn't work. La 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 la. There we go. I'm thinking that should be fine. And then... Every time. Why can I not just... Get, I, I've missed it three times now. This is ridiculous. Alright. Fence off. Uh, it was just fine a moment ago. Alright. We'll put in... Oh my god. Why can I not pick attractions right? Seriously. That's the fourth time in like... Like... Five minutes almost. Okay, let's get it. Let's go for right about there. All right, now fence. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these guys can be fenced in, right? Yes, I can. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll actually go backwards. So we'll go about three and then one and then... One for like a little square spot. I don't know why I like doing this. I think it's just, it's just so satisfying to me. I don't know what it is. But we'll go there and we'll fence this off for the moment. Because I want to keep this like, I want to keep this closed off. Like you don't want to see the tour ride for this one. I don't know why I just want this one closed off. And then... What we'll do is we will switch to the main path and we'll go out. We'll just go out as far as we can for the moment, like just right there, so that way we have it lined up. And before I forget, we'll go say to. Yeah, two will be fun. I think two is the right size. Like, I want it to sort of match with the Jurassic Park gates. And... Alright. And then we'll have this closed off. I'd better open it up, actually. And, actually... Let's go... Three? Yeah, I want to have it like as a closed resort nook. Hold on, how come it was... I think it's too far. Okay, so that's how far it is. Yeah, that's weird. Like, it's only two blocks away, but like it literally is that far until it's like, I'm going to stop snapping. Alright, now then. We need to go for the... For the facility path, because I really do like it. It's underrated. Let's get it as close as possible. And actually, we'll delete that one. And what I'm thinking is... Does that match in thickness? 
Yeah, that's all right. And we'll go this way as well. Fence at first, because I don't want this um too full. So yeah, so gate. Let's go. Where is? It's not there, Austin. This game is two years old, and I still can't remember where basically anything is. How is that possible? All right. Well, first, actually, let's just get the um, guest path all well filled up. Actually, no, let's... It's a little too empty here, actually. Let's, um... Yeah, yeah, that'll work. And then trim that up a bit. There, that's much better. Like, and then we can put some plants there. Probably, like, for if we're gonna do trees, it'll have to be really short ones, or... M maybe, actually, no, we could do the... Which one's it? Is it the Malta one, or is it the Nublar one? Because I want to get one of those. What was I looking for again? Oh yeah, the gate. So, let's demolish that. Alright. Let's line it up as best we can for right in the middle here. There you go. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Why am I going to that song? That's not even, like, been associated with Jurassic Park. It's been associated with Captain America twice, but not with... Unless he joins the Jurassic World. And then, uh, this is the only problem with this one, because, like, it doesn't clip to the fences, which, that's just weird. Like, it has the little block right there still, but it doesn't connect to fences. Why is that? It will go no, we don't want that. I'd say, do we want the wide path or standard thick? I'd say standard. Let's go, let's stay with standard. Well, actually, let's have it straight on for a little bit, you know, just to, like, get them... Have it so that people view it and, like, they get engulfed in it. And then they take the sharp turn of Doom, and then it's like the never seen again. And I keep saying horrifying stuff like this when this is supposed to be a herbivore exhibit. I'm really doing herbivores a disservice in this episode, aren't I? What I like to do with some, some of these buildings is... Like, for example, uh, let's say the the one that I was using, what is it called? What's it called? It's a, it's a viewing, en just a viewing entrance, okay. Well, I love using these guys as, like, secondary buildings that are like, you know, they're not actually the building that they're being said they are. They're, like, little registrations, or, like, in this case, a bathroom stall or something. And that way, they're, like, a little smaller building that, like, just works and such. And these guys work a lot. That's the wrong one, Austin. What is wrong with you? At least I picked attractions this time instead of one of the other ones. Oh, come on. What? Water? You are way too sensitive. Also, what the heck am I gonna do with this island? I have no idea. Maybe I can just put an observatory tower and it's just like, there, you got something there. We're like, ooh, maybe a lighthouse. Aha, we got a lighthouse, guys. <laughs> Curve too sharp. Please, let's be real. We both know what the monorail's capable of. We broke it completely once. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I agree, Rexes. It's annoying that this has to be. Ooh, that might work. Imagine it's saying curve too sharp there.
Hello there. Okay, so I realized I haven't been talking. As soon as I start talking again, I get interrupted. And also now I need a drink, so let me have a drink. <coughs> I'm okay. <coughs> Swallowing <coughs> and trying to breathe <coughs> air. Is not a good thing. Anywho, as I was saying, since I, well, the fact that I wasn't saying much, um, I uh, got these finished up here, as you can see, with the path here and such, but I also continued, and I uh, went for a treehouse sort of perspective, as you can see, um, just uh, wrapping them up. I know that I'm going for, um, for this one, I'm gonna go full biosyn for us, but you know how it is. I, I want to keep it that way. And, uh, well, let's get on to the enclosure itself. Because <clears throat> that one I'm going to be very happy with. And I'm thinking for herbivores, what I'm thinking is we can do a couple. I'm thinking definitely I want Therizinosaurus, because if I'm going for any spooky herbivore in this enclosure, it's definitely them. I want a smaller one that, like, can just, like, be, like, really tiny. Maybe not Homalocephale, because I think I had an idea for that for a smaller exhibit. Maybe Dryosaurus. Dryosaurus might work. It's not too... It's n I was going to say something like Struthermimus, but no, those guys, I do not want those darting through. It, d it doesn't really make sense. Like, I'm breaking reality as enough as it is. I don't want a um, dinosaur like that that realistically would not want to be in this kind of enclosure it would want like a more open sort of enclosure yeah that's a good size and then like we did with the Carnotaurus exhibit even though I failed to show because I forgot to hit the damn record button <sighs> Let it go, Lester. Just let it go. Just do what Elsa said. Looking at this, it kind of reminds me of a grotto for, like, a pool or something, or, you know, an actual real-life grotto, but, like, I'd love if they could have, like, a scenery item, like, a rock formation like that. Like, I know everyone wants waterfalls and stuff, but, like, I don't think they can do, like, proper, proper giant waterfalls, but, like, they could definitely do a grotto or something, and just, like, have it, like, as an effect. Like, you know what they could do? I'm, I'm working on a video for, like, um what they could do for Jurassic World Evolution 2 before they finish with it. But, like, I have a tip, I have an idea of, like, they could do a grotto. What they could do is what they did in Jurassic Park's novel, where during the T-Rex River sequence, when the kids hide behind a fake waterfall, well, I say fake, it, we didn't know it until the reveal, but the reveal of it, when the power shut off again, we were able to see that um, the waterfall they were hiding behind was not actually a legit waterfall. It was a man-made one. And that's something they could so do, because it was like in the middle of nowhere. Like, I believe it was in supposed to be in like an enclosure, but we never find out what enclosure. 
maybe it was I think it was the Dilophosaurus one because like previously we had just seen them like almost get attacked by the Dilophosaurus I think it was was it Dilophosaurus I think it was Dilophosaurus I know that yeah it was Dilophosaurus because of the whole mating r ritual reveal but I think they should do something like that because like then they could like make like a literal square block piece have it so that way they could hide it as like an observery section or like you know where the vehicles go to stop and like scan dinosaurs and stuff they could do something like that and then uh, uh, and that something like that i really think they could do a grotto or something like that just something to give the illusion of like different features and stuff i i don't know i'd really love to have something like that and I don't know, like, maybe it's just me, like, I know that, like, we're probably not gonna get water depth or anything like that, even though, like, the news of Planet Zoo coming to consoles just came out, like, literally a few days ago as of recording this, so I'm like, damn, like, why are we not getting some of these things if you're gonna put that game in, like, like, if they put Planet Zoo on, like, PS5 and the Xbox and you can't, like, manipulate the water levels and that game, it's gonna be really frustrating. Cause like, that's a game that like, it's complicated but not too complicated in a way, you know what I mean? Like it's fun to do, like you could, it's in the middle between this and prehistoric um, park, I believe. Like, I think that's where I would say it is. And I'm really liking this. It kind of looks like a picture frame, it's like bush one, bush two. All right, everyone get in, smile. Alright, so I got the species going in. You'll see the reveal of what species I picked shortly. But, what we can do... We need to get the tour actually finished. I just realized, like, why am I not seeing any lines? Alright, so, we're gonna keep this... Well, we need... Okay, so, boom. And then, we'll have one there, so, let's go edit tour and I want to make sure that this is very forested up we'll have patches but we're not gonna go too crazy whoa 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 why is that so snappity okay I'm gonna definitely change that I don't want it like right there you know what I mean it's curve too sharp oh for gosh sake you diva of a vehicle okay I'm definitely gonna fix those and thinking we'll have it go this one go right by the um, water that's dangerous I'm having that as like the one of the few open spots actually no we can have it as a full wrap around that's nice you know I might actually why do I feel like I want to put some pterosaurs or something in this enclosure? I'm not going to do it because, like, I think it would be kind of a bad idea. Like, I can turn off attack, but it kind of is going to be very annoying. Alright, so now let's reconnect that. There we go. And you know what? Like, no one's going to notice this one because, like... Trust me, guys, this is going to be forced the heck out of. And judging from how long I was recording, even though, like, most of this I haven't talked because I have trouble with doing that sometimes when I get too invested in building, and I'll force it up a little bit more later. Right now, actually, I want to work on this area right now, just like this little section, which, first of all, let's get those trees in, which, do I want... The biosyn trees, or do I want those big trees? Yeah, this is the one that like won't block the tree. And again, why do we not have the Jurassic World one of this? Like, not not the tree, um, the the gate. Like, everyone's like, uh, what Jurassic tree do we have an, at, at all? Which, ooh, that would be so nice. There we go. Doesn't block, but it's like you know. It hides it from the aerial view, and then... And we can actually put in some... You know, decorate... I can't speak again. It's a cursed... 
and we'll put in some small bushes and some colorful trees this time. Let's get some color into it. We're manipulating nature. And actually, let's head down. There we go. And then we can have like these guys, then some bushes. And then, God, these guys, those trees and their hitboxes, it's, they, they're bragging about it, aren't they? And then a nice little red tree, and God damn it, how do we not have cherry blossoms in this game? Like, I was, I'm working, as I said earlier, I'm working on a video of, like, things they could add to the game before they finish that, like, are likely to happen, like, in a way, but, like, how have we not gotten Cherry Blossom? How have we not got a Japan map yet? Like, that's my big question. And we'll need the dividers, which we'll go with these ones this time. Oh, yeah, yeah, look at him. He's like, yeah, I got, yeah, you like that. You got, I got the good um, hitbox. And because of your bragging hitbox, we're going to have to angle it a bit. There we go. We're going to really have to angle it here. Holy Jesus! Bragging much! Okay, you bragged! We get it! You have a big hitbox! Jesus! Like, freaking hell! That's insane! I know, T-Rex! It's insane! Alright, I'm back from feeding the puppy. She is satisfied in her slumber now. And I'm gonna put over here... Or do I want it here? Eee! I wish you could, like, flip them. Like, you know, where if, like, you did, like, a toggle snap, it just, like, flipped them. So, like, I could have it pointed this way, but then its head is turned this way. You know what I mean? Like, it's just little things like that, that, like, I really... What the hell is that burning noise? Oh, it's the... that's the gates, ah. I was like, what is on fire in this game? And it's like, oh... I'm an idiot. Alright, so, thinking what we can do here is some um, biosim... Lights? Which... God, I love these structures. Like, I really hope we get to see the Biosyn Valley again. Like, for a lot of reasons. But I really, really, like, I really want to see more with um, the Biosyn Valley. Like, I feel like it was underutilized. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. We could have seen a lot more with it, I feel. Alright, so... Can we squeeze him in there? Nope, not even close. Okay, so we'll go here. And what we can do is we can go... Actually, no, we can go flag style. Ooh, how big are those? Are the new flags again? Oh, yeah, they're... never mind. Or... Corner light here, and then smaller lights there, boom, and a little boom, or boom, that's good there, and now we need to make the cue.
and now for the reveal, let's go all the way over here, it's faster this way, and let's grab the species of dinosaur. So, yes, we are doing Dryosaurus as the small species, because I was I don't want to do Homalocephalae as I already said, because like that one I want to save for something else, and Dryosaurus is just the right size, he's not too big, well he's not too small, and he's not like, you know, a speedy bullet. He's not a speedy Gonzalez. We'll need that Cartanosaurus. And then while we're working, well actually, yeah, we'll work on the, we'll turn it on once we get them all in. And then we'll be A-OK. -okay. And then that'll be the video. And we'll have, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> maybe it's all the smoke from the flares. <laughs> oh God, help. We'll add some, Mounds of poop, if I don't die. <coughs> I'm good, I promise. Oh shit! Whoa! No, 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 no! Wait a minute! I thought this one you can't walk through! Like, literally the T-Rex! Oh, for- No, no, please tell me it's not like- See, this is the problem with the walkout thing. Cause like, I've already got dinosaurs like, leaving all over. Like, look how far he's gone! He's literally looped around- Oh my god! All right, guys, so <clears throat> so I sorted out the little issues. As you can see here, we got the tour running. I um, just put in a uh, arrival point just for the moment to check it out. And, oh, my God, this is much tighter. You know that, oh, let's get a shot. Can we get a good shot with the third? Oh, my God, look at its eye. That was so creepy. Hold on, can we get a, oh, no, go, go back, Terry, Bob, oh, no. Also, you guys better give me some names for those guys, because I really want to hear some. But, so apparently small dinosaurs can go through this, which I did not know. I know that T-Rex and large carnivores can't, because, well, I remember trying to get a thumbnail with this guy walking through, well, T-Rex specifically, but it just wasn't having it. So I assumed, well, it's probably like an invisible wall for, like, dinosaurs, which I was like, okay, that's fine. But nope, it's just for um, large ones. So kind of like the log is, I guess. I think that's the coating they're going for, which, I mean, it makes sense. Like, it makes sense that it's small ones. But then again, it makes sense that a T-Rex would be able to walk through and give me a cinematic view. And, I mean, speaking of cinematic views, that just is awesome. And speaking of which, I think that's theory number three. Oh my god, look at that. Just, like, quick pause. Like, you just, um, see... Well, let's go inside, actually. Because we're right at the end. Oh, yeah, this is feeling, like, thick and, like... This feels, like, inescapable, which is what I want. Like, it's a little bit more open in some sections than I was hoping for, but I might put some bushes and stuff in. Where is the fairy? Oh, God, there he is. Oh, ho, ho, right on the path, too. Nice. Oh, that is a pose. Look at her. Go, that is awesome. Hold on, hold on. Can we frame it? We could get a thumbnail with this. Hold on. Get a thumbnail or... Ooh, maybe the other side, actually. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. There's the thumbnail. Just like... Oh, God. Oh, my God. Look at his eye. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Please, for, I, of anything, I will beg them. Please give us a blind Therizinosaurus. Like, could you imagine that, guys? That would just be so good. Okay, so... Let's go there. Boom. Thumbnail. Prob That's probably the thumbnail, guys. If I don't get a better shot while I'm getting this all worked out, that's got to be a thumbnail because that is just 
Oh my god, beautiful. Yeah, like, see, it's very thick and such, but there's little passageways, so it's not gonna be like he's glitching out. That's good. I was worried about it with him specifically. Like, I knew the Dryosaurus would be fine, the Critanosaurus, but that's fine. But I um, made a quick change here, so the Dryosauruses were getting out. They were getting out through both ways, and I needed to figure out a way to make it so that they wouldn't get out. There's none out right now, is there? I tranquilized the ones outside. Oh, there's that one. He, oh god, he's drowning. So uh, let's just ignore him. He's fine, he's fine. He's just um, having a, a, night, a nighttime bath. So what I did was I put two planters here. I'm going to put some flags and such, like, while I'm... I'm just finishing this last bit up. I'll put flags that are basically like, for this one, it's like, hey, um, if you're exiting, come out this way. If you're entering to go in and you don't want to go on the ride, you go through. Oh, hi, Dryo. And it looks like it is working. Well, here's a moment of truth. Will he walk through? If he walks through there, it's fine. He can't get out that way. Yep, he turned around. That's good. Now, moment of truth. I might have to... If I put the flag here, I'll have to put it on this side. All right, we got him. We got him ensnared. Okay, crisis averted, guys. We have them contained. Life has found a way to be contained. Da -da 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 now what? Now we get into the conclusion, guys, because that is the end of the build. I know we had the whole guest section to do. I know, I know, I got really distracted there were a few ups and downs with this enclosure especially as you saw earlier with me saying i raged quit for a day but we are at the end for this one we'll work on the guest section possibly on our next zone whatever it is but remember guys the remaining section with the carnotaur zone i want you guys to leave your comments there but hopefully you guys are enjoying this series i am most definitely enjoying it despite the lack of you know consistency with the schedule let's just say but i'm happy we got a herbivore one it was funny how my brain just had to basically scream at me to do a herbivore one but i want to thank you guys still regardless and if you guys have enjoyed this build and want to see more from mini sorna and also tips videos theories all that out of the wazoo you know the drill, I would appreciate the like, and if you feel like supporting a little bit extra, I would appreciate a hitting of the subscribe button to join the hunt. And as always, guys, remember that you are amazing, never forget that. Stay safe, and I'll see you later. Bye bye